All right, so for this circuit, we have to find V1, V2, and V3. So let's write directions of current. This is I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6. All right, that looks good. Let's write them down here with node V1. It'll be I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals, sorry, plus 3 equals 5. Bring the 3 to the other side. So it'll be 2. Node V2. So it'll be I2 plus I5 uh, equals I4. Node V3. It's I5 plus I6. So we're leaving it, and this will be equal to I3 plus 3 amps. Now, so find what these I values will be equal to. So I1, it goes from V1 to 0, all over 4. I2, it goes from V1 to V2, so V1 minus V2, all over 8. I3, it goes from V1 to V3. So uh, V1 minus V3 all over 2 because this is these two are all technical nodes so the voltage will be the same throughout. I4, where's I4? Oh this is I4. Okay so we go from V2 to 0 all over 2. Then we have I5. It goes from V3 to V2. So V3 minus V2 all over 4. And then we have I6. It goes from V3 to 12. This point is 12 volts. So V3 minus 12 all over 8. Now let's start plugging things in. So I1. It will be V1 over 4. Plus I2. It'll be V1 minus V2 all over 8 plus I3. So it'll be V1 minus V3 all over 2 equals to 2. Now we have I2. This one will be V1 minus V2 all over 8 plus I5. This one will be V3 minus V uh, V2 all over 4. And let's bring the I4 to the other side. So it'll be minus I4, and I4 is V2 over 2. V2 over 2 equals 0. Now our last one, I5, it's V3 minus V2 all over 4, plus I6, V3 minus 12 all over 8. Let's bring the I3 to the other side. So it'll be minus I3. I3 is V1 minus V3 over 2. So it'll be v1 minus v3 all over 2. Let's distribute the negative. So it will be minus v1 plus v3 all over 2. All right. Oh, yeah, and this is all equal to 3. Now let's simpl uh, simplify all of these. So v1 over 4 plus v1 over 8 plus v1 over 2. Uh, let's see what that gives me. That gives me 0 0.875 V1. Now we have V2 over 8. That's minus 0 0.125 V2. Then we have V3 over 2. That's just minus 0 0.5 V3. And this is equal to 2. Now we have uh, V1 over 8. So that's 0 0.125 V1. Minus V2 over 8, minus V2 over 4, minus V2 over 2. So let me see what that gives me. That gives me minus 0 0.875 V2. Now we have V3 over 4, that's just 0 0.25. V3, and this will be equal to 0. Alright, so for the last one, uh, it's V1 over 2, so minus, so this is minus 0 0.5 v1 then we have v2 over 4 so minus 0 0.25 uh, 
B2. Then we have V3 over 4 plus V3 over 8 plus V3 over 2. So that gives me that gives me 0 0.875 V3. Now last one we have is minus 12 over 8. So that's minus 1.5 and this will be equal to 3. Let's bring that to the other side and this will be equal to 4.5. Now if we put it through MATLAB or you know simplify it uh, like plugging into each other we get v1 equals 10, v2 equals 5, v3 equals 12.334 and these are your final answers.